Hello everybody. We'll make a video on a rod bolt stretch and how to measure the relaxed length of rod bolts before assembly. Uh, that relaxed length measurement is very important for that's what you need to go back to to make sure that your uh, rod bolts haven't taken a permanent stretch. If if they uh, you stretch them permanent, uh, you need to get new ones and uh, if the, you take a motor apart and measure the rod bolts and they don't go back to their original length, you, they've been stretched. They're compromised. You have to get new ones. Uh, one way to measure me measure them is to uh, use a ball anvil mic. Um, those things are kind of expensive and they you rarely use them. So I come up with a, a deal here that worked for me and. If you don't have the same stuff that I've used here, you can use your imagination. You can, you can, um, and I'll, but, um, anyway, first thing you got to do is, um, make sure that the rod bolts are, um, uh, loose. You don't want to, don't want them to be tight or anything like that. And you need a, uh, a rod bolt stretch gauge. You can get those from jigs. I say, make sure the rod bolts is loose. Like a, get a stretch gauge like this. Zero it out. I'm holding a little bit of pressure on top of the indicator to keep the uh, anvil seated in the recesses on each end of the uh, rod bolt that they that ARP machined in there. Zero this thing out like I'm doing here all right at this point here you don't know how long that rod bolt is so here I, that I'm pointing to some parallels that I got from a little machine shop I got them mounted in a machine machinist vise on this uh, mini mill I've got them held in there with uh with that magnet that I got from Amazon there's the part number them strong little magnets there and uh i got a set of large uh, large uh, parallels there and a set of small parallels you can see the small one that on the right there that one that i'm sliding the purpose of those is to keep your anvils on your uh mic and and that uh, stretch gauge parallel that way when you sweep it you can you just sweep left and right you don't have to sweep up and down and left and right and all it just makes 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 things a little bit easier you'll see here so you close your vise up open it up op start opening your vise slowly get your uh, anvils resting on top of the the short parallels like I got like I'm doing here use real light pressure Start sweeping your um, stretch gauge back and forth, left and right. And as you're uh, opening up the vise, what you're trying to do is set that set that uh, indicator back to to the reading that, or back to zero. All right. Once you get it set to zero, you take a, you take your mic and uh, take that reading right there. That's going to be the reading between the anvils of the um, of the stre stretch gauge there. I come up with uh, 1.756. I've already done this several times just, just, just to make sure and make sure it's repeatable and all. And um, I'll show you in my notes there. I'm doing number five rod on the tang side, for an example. There's the, there's the measurement that I come up with, one point seven five six. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to torque these things to to torque to angle method that Molner recommends. First thing you do, you need a special a torque wrench that's capable of doing that. Here I'm pro uh, letting the 
torque wrench calibrate itself. I've already got the specs tor uh, programmed into this torque wrench, and it's got a you got to set it let it sit still so to calibrate itself. Um, my owner recommends 30 foot pounds initial torque, and then a 60 degree angle. They uh, recommend a um, stretch of uh, six to six point four thousandths after after you get through uh, torquing them. Um, here I'm torquing them to thirty foot foot pound pound feet or however you say it. And uh, anyway, to check your um, after you do your seat your do this your initial torque and then s torque to angle procedure you can take your um, rod bolt stretch gauge and you've already got it set to zero and just uh, take that reading there it should uh it should read six thousandths to six point four thousandths six point five if, if it goes to seven you ain't hurt anything on these bolts here, but um, we're gonna um, I got this thing set on a sixty degree angle. This is this is real critical here. Well, both of them are critical, but this, you need to go real slow and steady, and try not to let that thing slip off that bolt. So I got the sixty degrees. It took 93.4 foot pounds of torque to get achieve that. Now we're doing the second bolt. If you go 61 degrees or 62, it will make a difference on the reading. I, I did that just to see. And um, so. That that uh torque wrench there is very accurate. Oh, another thing is make sure you use the the recommended lubricant on them threads. Molnar uses recommends um extreme pressure lube number three. They send that in in the in in with the rods and all. So make sure you got the threads and the bottom of them heads lubricated. That that makes a difference also. All right, now that I got my rod bolts torqued, we're gonna check the stretch on them. Like I said previously, uh, we zeroed out this uh, indicator at first of the video, and I haven't turned turned the um, dial or anything or the and all. Um, come up with uh, six point um, five thousandths. It's supposed to be six point four. That's not a, that's not an issue. So that's um that's that's how you uh check relax length of your rod bolts. That way you can always go back and see if your rod bolts are permanently stretched. And that's how you torque them. And that's how you check the stretch after you torque. Torque them. Y'all have a good day. I'll talk to you later.